Today, you're going to learn all about the deepest, most elusive parts of Backrooms Level 3. And I'll be continuing the series where I go over sub-levels of popular Backrooms levels. And these might be the best ones yet, so strap in, sit back and relax, and let's get into some liminal horror, shall we? So before we hop into the sub-levels, I'm sure you all remember the regular level 3, or the electrical station as it's nicknamed. The main level's already classified as a class 4 difficulty, so it's pretty dangerous as it is, but the level's made up of a bunch of winding, dark hallways with electrical wires and grids and prison bars everywhere. I'm sure you all knew that. Obviously, if you watch me, you do. But did you know that if you travel deeper into the level, you'll run into sub-level 3.1 eventually? So, sublevel 3.1, or the Space Complex, as it's been nicknamed, is a very anomalous set of hallways and corridors and rooms found deep inside of level 3. It's got a classification of class 4, so it's still very dangerous and very unsafe to travel in. And it's made up of a bunch of rooms that are filled with different types of machinery, electronics, and that kind of thing that all revolve around space or spaceships. The technology is very human looking, and it often takes the form of large clunky objects, like something you'd see in a NASA lab from like the 60s. The rooms themselves here are made entirely out of white walls and clean and shiny floors with bright lights shining from above which directly counters the regular level 3's dirty halls and dim lights. And this entire level just has a very industrial type of vibe to it, almost like something's being manufactured. All of these space theme rooms are directly connected by a set of hallways that are very long and very narrow. The hallways themselves are lined with pipes and copper cables, which might have some sort of electricity running through them, we don't know. And these pipes lead to the different rooms. And the actual rooms themselves can vary depending on how deep you get into the sublevel, meaning that some of the rooms are small and some of them are massive like stupidly big. The smallest rooms tend to have just control panels and knobs and nozzles in them, or just small labs and offices, but then there's the larger rooms that have massive space tech and high ceilings, and they kind of look like warehouses. And then past that, there are even bigger ones that look like massive rocket silos that are just shoved into the wall. It all depends on where you explore, and where you go, and how far you want to. The machines and all the electronics here in this sublevel seem to be fully operational. They work fine. However, if you attempt to break something here, a pair of robotic-like hands will drop from the ceiling and will instantly start repairing whatever you broke. These arms and hands are usually passive, but if you touch them or if you disturb them somehow, they might get a little feisty and try to fight you off. One unique thing about this sublevel is that it is a gold mine for fire salt, which is a highly explosive crystal that can be used as a weapon in the back rooms. I made a short about it if you want to check it out. You can also find other objects here, like almond water and some kind of tools as well. The temperature on this sublevel is actually pretty cool. Considering how much machinery is moving around, you'd think it'd be hotter, but it actually stays at around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, or 18 degrees Celsius, in most hallways, and then it's just slightly warmer in the rooms themselves. And it's cool because there's a massive ventilation system throughout this entire sublevel, which again contrasts the main level 3, which is a really hot and really stuffy level. I'm sure you're asking yourself now, why does this sublevel have a class 4 rating? Nothing seems too dangerous yet. Well, it's in fact because of the entities that hide in the darker areas here. There are things like clumps and hounds and skin stealers, and they're all very common here. As I mentioned, they specifically hide in the rooms and corridors that have less light, which there are some that have less light. But if you see a dark room or something like that, don't go in it because the likelihood is there's probably going to be an entity in there. There's also been some sightings of the disease entity here, which if you don't know what that is, I also made a short about it. But pretty much it is a disease that takes the form of a black fungus looking thing, though that's even more terrifying. Pretty much just avoid the dark areas and the more decayed areas in the sublevel, and you should be fine. To enter the sublevel, you can find a yellow staircase on level 3, which will lead right down here to level 3.1. But once you walk down those stairs, you can't walk back up. So just know that. And to exit, you have to refind that staircase somewhere else on this sublevel to walk back up to level 3, and then you can exit from somewhere there. This isn't a bad sublevel, just avoid the entities and avoid going too deep into it, and you should be pretty okay. So 
So deeper on into level three, you might actually find level 3.24 or the sleek voltage area. So this sublevel has been given a class 3A difficulty and is unsafe with several environmental hazards, mainly the weather and the atmosphere. This sublevel takes the appearance of a massive system of hallways and rooms that resemble level three and zero and two all mixed together. The hallways have cables and sockets and pipes all over over the roofs and walls and they segment and overlap and wind around each other regularly these hallways are very confusing the temperature in these halls is also very dangerous because it's either one or two extremes it's either burning hot or freezing cold so it's hard to stay comfortable when exploring the halls here are mostly a whitish color and are made out of a kind of concrete material even though it's not concrete it's concrete like and an interesting anomaly here is that the pipes have the same black liquid stuff inside of them that are on the pipes in level two which is a pretty weird thing Another anomaly of this sublevel is that this level is fully equipped with a railway system inside of these interconnected hallways. Like, there's just a subway rail system here. There's also tons of signs and lights and arrows and exit signs that are leading to empty and dead-end places, and you should not follow them anywhere you go. You can, however, get on to the shuttle or train that's here, because people have actually reported getting on and being let off on other levels like level 8 or 9 or 1, which makes no sense because those levels don't have train tracks on them. So it seems that this train just teleports them there, maybe. But beyond those weird train tracks and the hot hallways, there is another part of the level that's known as the maintenance tunnels. And these maintenance tunnels are tight and bleak and claustrophobic and very dangerous to explore, and they're just very small concrete tunnels. These look very similar to level 2's tunnels, and this actually might be an area where level 2 and 3 kind of mesh and warp together. Together. Who knows? But these maintenance tunnels are by far the most dangerous part of the level because it seems like so many people go missing here when exploring or trying to get out. Some people have even reported seeing strange shadows creeping out of the corners and dragging their friends off. But those reports can't be confirmed or denied. But to be honest, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, the backrooms is an insane place. And an entity that's in a dark tunnel dragging people off doesn't even seem too crazy anymore. To enter the sublevel, you actually have to be on level two and you have to find a set of doors that leads to the these white concrete halls and to exit you can get on the train to get dropped off or you can eventually find a door that's labeled the office to get to level four which is the next level but yeah a level that seems to warp level two and three together makes sense to me This one is level 3.3, or the computer offices, and it's been given a class zero difficulty, which is a nice change of pace from these other ones that are gonna eat you. This sublevel is made up of randomly segmented corridors and rooms that look like offices with computers in them from the 70s or 80s or 90s. Some rooms seem to be infinite, others are quite small, but all of them have that same old computer lab type of vibe, with the desks, the computers, the chairs, and all the other stuff you find in an office being there. The only thing that's not here is windows which is fine because that fits the theme of level 3 since none of the sublevels have any windows. The computers here are actually fully functional, although they're slow because they're old, but they connect to a Wi-Fi signal, which is actually said to be the strongest Wi-Fi signal in the back rooms here. So if you want Wi-Fi, come to the sublevel. Outside of these rooms, in old office buildings hallways, that all connect the rooms together. In the hallways, you actually might find a vending machine or two, or a kind of lobby area or two that you could chill at. But other than the computer labs and the server rooms and the hallways with vending machines, there's nothing else to the sublevel. It's not too big. It's pretty small. The only thing is, it does give off that eerie, liminal, lonely feeling. But, I mean, so does all the back rooms. But if you're a lucky person, this is the sublevel that you'll be sent to, and not sublevel 3 point one or anything like that. There are no entities here, and to enter, you have to find an elevator on level three and take it down to here, which is pretty rare, by the way, so good luck. And to exit, you can find a door that's labeled the office to get sent to level four, which is the next level, as I said last time. But I think, honestly, I'd be staying here for a little bit longer. A chill computer lab that goes on forever with vending machines and cool hallways. I mean, what's not to like about that? So those were three sublevels of Backrooms Level 3. Hope you enjoyed them. I really love the sublevels. Uh, they do so much world building and they just add this depth of lore and 
Oh, I'm a sucker for Laura. Anyways, thank you all for watching the videos. I know you've liked this series and I hope to continue doing it. I'll keep doing it as long as you enjoy them, obviously. Thank you so much for everything. The channel's just blowing up and it's two years later and we're still blowing up and I cannot thank you enough. I'm so grateful for you. We are on the road to a million as always and I hope to see you uh, in the next video on here or on my other two channels, whichever one it is, wherever I see you. I'll see you then. Peace.